Alright, so I tried to make this video before and I don't know, I just got into a big long ramble, uh, which most of my videos do, which isn't necessarily something unusual and something that I usually go with, but I just want this one to be more concise. So it's about Terry Jones, um, he's basically what I would say hate speech. Um, and the consequence that it had in Afghanistan of um, 10 people being killed. Now people have made the point, well you know, it's, it's, he didn't kill anyone, it's those crazy Afghanis that did. Um, and I agree, you know, obviously those people, you know, are directly at fault, they should be caught and they should be, um, you know, they should be processed in whatever uh, way, you know, in a humane way, but th they should be put out of circulation until they're no longer completely fucked in the head. Because breaking into United Nations, you know, what's what was the building? It was like the development agency or whatever. They were basically trying to build up Afghanistan, breaking into there, dragging out civilians that basically had no protection and then slaughtering them, you know. The, the cowards, they were too, they were obviously too afraid to, you know, they could have pulled that shit at a military base. Yeah, and then they could have all martyred themselves. But no, they had to go after, you know, a soft target so they could be sure to, you know, get those people and then... <sighs> um, yeah, so... Those guys, yeah, screw them. I, I really, you know, terrible people. But problem is, they're over in Afghanistan, and not much I can really do about them in Afghanistan. I could make a video towards them, but I doubt they're gonna watch it. <laughs> I doubt they're gonna have um, access to the internet, most of them. Um, but if any of them are watching, you know, uh, fuck you very much. You are a despicable human being. There's so much wrong with your head. Um, you know, you're, you, you, you need so much help. Just, you know, <sighs> I, I'm, I, I feel sorry for you, you know, mate. Um, but I doubt that that message is going to go anywhere. The other question is, how much, if any, responsibility does the good pastor himself bear well so let's let's rephrase the situation slightly think of this crowd of extremist Muslims filled with hatred um, think of them rather as a bunch of people think of them as a uh, a natural natural disaster waiting to happen. Think you're standing at the foot of Mount Hatred. Now you look up Mount Hatred and you see there's a big pile of hate snow, a vile, seething mass of murderous hatred snow built up right on top there. Now you know if you start making a lot of noise you're gonna start an avalanche of hatred and murder. It's gonna come down the mountain and it's going to flatten a little village down at the bottom. But, you know, you feel like having a little fireworks display, you know. Uh, do you want to get some attention? You put on your little fireworks display and people are going to watch you. But, unfortunately, it's going to start that avalanche. And it's going to come down and it's going to kill those people. You know, you don't particularly want those people in that village to be killed. Um, but it's predictable that it will happen. You can see up there, you know, and it's happened before. People have been screaming at a mountain and the avalanche came down and crushed some people down there. Um, but you do it anyways. You know, you're like, well, it's not me. I can't help it. I'm not trying to kill anyone. I'm just, you know, doing my own thing. And unfortunately, it's going to start that avalanche. Not my fault. Blame the avalanche. Um, you know... To me, that's not, you know, that's not a bad analogy. Because, yes, if we had to put it down to which human being is ultimately at fault, it is those extremist 
guys that are going to do the murdering. But they are in some way, at least, a predictable uh, a predictable force. We've seen it before. There have been certain things done that cause certain reactions, and those reactions have gotten people hurt. Now, that doesn't mean that we can never do something, you know, to cause that reaction. But it means that if we do do something, then it better be worth the cost that might have to be paid by people somewhere else. And in these cases, it's, you know, you're starting the fireworks down here, but the avalanche is actually on the other side. It's going to crush that village. You're not going to get hit by it. And you know this. All right? So, you know that you're potentially starting violence, and you're going to be able to keep out of it clean. To me, that's an act of supreme cowardice, especially when there's no there's no clearly defined goal here whatsoever. The guy wanted publicity, you know. He wasn't... If it had been something where his speaking out, I don't know, would have made some big positive difference in the world, then maybe you do the utilitarian game of, oh, him burning the Quran is going to save a thousand lives, but ten people will, you know, whatever average you think of, somewhere between five to twenty people are going to get murdered, then maybe it's worth it. But there's none of that. The guy's just an attention whore, and he knew the risk, and it had happened before, and he did it anyways. So, I agree. The guys that did it are to blame. Catch them. Whoever is in charge of catching them. Um, but I can't do much about that. I agree, the media are to blame. But, yeah, they're, they're run by faceless corporations that won't really listen to us. But we have a guy also that's to blame. And we have people like him running around waiting to do the next thing. And if we don't discourage them, if we don't let them know that not only are we going to not pay attention while they're doing it, but if they do do it and they cause something, we're not going to give them any positive or even neutral feedback. The infamy they're going to get has to be such that they will be discouraged from doing this kind of thing again. And yes, that's, I, th I think that's possible. I think that's possible, especially in this guy's case. Um, problem was last time he actually received um, at least some support um, because that was also around the time of the Ground Zero Mosque. Um, but yeah, that, that's my that's my little bit on the Pastor Terry Jones and his little his little Quran burning exercise. Uh, one one last thing I want to you know just put out there. People are always going on about you know we got to teach those extremist Muslims a lesson you know they're nasty pieces of work and so on and so forth. So we need to you know do various events where we make fun of Muslims. Um, yeah, well you know what I noticed, what I took away from this um, and from other events in the past is. The reaction, the violent, bloody reaction, came from ha occurred in places that are uh, have many undereducated people, uneducated people, um, and a very fundamentalist kind of mindset, and people that are in no way uh, adapted to our kind of way of life at all. Whereas <laughs> in in the West, you know. This whole burn a Quran thing, last time there were a couple of little protests and things, barely any violence. This time, there was, I, I don't know, was there even anything from modern Muslims? I, I don't think so. So, they, they seem to be doing okay, ignoring these things just fine. So, you know, teaching them to have a sense of humor or to not be offended. Um, you know, I don't think they ever needed to be taught. Uh, I think they were plenty capable before. But certainly, doing these things, we're not really, um, you know, all we're doing 
to them is we're we're worrying them, we're making them afraid because what are these constant digs at them, you know? But what we're really doing is where we're really stirring up debate and trouble is in regions where we have no control, where our part of the message that it's about free speech or whatever doesn't get through at all. They just see it as an attack on their religion over there. So, um, yeah, I think if if we look at things over there and then take that as positive reinforcement and as some kind of like a uh, further motivation to have more of these events, um, I think that's 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 nonsensical because those people are not going to hear your message. What they're going to hear is they hate our religion, they hate us, it's a war of us against them. Um, yeah, this was Church of SDFU. See you all later.